Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, some patchy fog. That will be an issue come tomorrow morning in the area. And it's going to be cool. I mean, tomorrow morning for the kids at the bus stop, that 52, that's the coolest we've had around here since June 28th. And that was pretty cool for June 28th as well. 59 at 9, then a lot of sun in the afternoon. We'll be fine, nice and warm, but low humidity. 79 for the high, 76 to 80 should do it for highs area wide. 77 Logan's Port and Kokomo and Rucheville to 80 degrees at Fowler. We'll get up to about 80 down at Covington. Now on Thursday, increasing clouds. We'll have a low of 60 about 5 in the morning. Then we'll rise to 63 with that southwest wind kicking in. It will be a windy day. The wind southwest gusting 30 to 40, then going to the west northwest late in the day. And we'll have kind of two periods of at least some scattered showers and storms around with about 40 to 45 percent coverage. Highs upper 70s to as high as about 81 degrees. 80 at Lafayette, 79 Flora. We'll get up to about 80 at Attica and about 77 at Logan's Port. Here's the evening. Again, the clouds slowly diminishing from north to south. The wind diminishes overnight. Watch for the patchy fog in the morning and then a beautiful day tomorrow. Note all the sunshine around that we're going to have tomorrow night. The increasing clouds there they are coming in from the northwest and we'll have those around seven o'clock on Thursday morning and then this first little round. This could be a few widely scattered showers and storms right here. 1230 through one two o'clock in the afternoon. Then we'll probably have another batch of at least a few showers and storms four five six coming through during the evening. That is a cold front behind that cold front. It's a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler on Friday, but a lot of sunshine really nice into the work week and the Friday night frenzy weather looks really good. Now on Saturday, some of these clouds will be spilling up and over a big dome of heat, a big upper ridge in the plains. This will also be kind of a warm front that will be moving northward. And once that warm front goes through, the heat is on Sunday and into Monday. But the humidity does not look that high on those days. We will watch though the humidity increasing by mid to late next week with the 90s. And with that, it's quite possible late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, we may see what we call Ridge Rider around the storms on the periphery. The intense heat kind of round up and around the ridge, and that could impact us during that time. Again, notice the cooler weather for now, but note the heat developing. A heat here and the heat in Texas combining, and right there is your upper ridge, and this is the heat coming in just in time for next week. All right, your 10 day forecast. Again, a few scattered storms uh, for Thursday with 80 and windy. 78 Friday, a couple cool nights deep down into the 50s again. 91 on Sunday, 93 Monday, but still pretty low humidity. 93 Tuesday. It does get rather humid on Wednesday. Watch for some storms late Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then it's just a hair cooler on Friday with highs in the 80s.